gonna focus today? There we go. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Got something in your eye, Barney. Welcome back to a brand new video. Barney is here, but he's too low. Can you come here? There he is. <laughs> Sussing out whether or not I'm about to give him a treat. You can maybe have one in a minute. Welcome to a brand new video. I thought I would run through some like house updates where we're at with the ground floor extension. I feel like a lot of people on my Instagram who are following along are like, where have all these updates come from? We need like a YouTube dedicated updates video. So I def I want to steer away from like a renovation update purely for the fact that we're like nearing the end now. I feel like we're just going to have a Because we're sort of like approaching the final stretch of the actual house. I know we've still got a lot to do like with the garden and outdoor kitchen and all of that. I just want to turn it more into my channel be like vlog style footage with a little bit of haul. Well quite a lot of hauls because let's face it I like to shop a lot. And also like a few house updates here and there as well. So I'm going to focus, bring you up to speed on where we're at with the renovations today, within today's video. And then I do also have some housey things, things that I've been buying that I can share with you. And also a new tip that I've learned as well on how to pay less. So yeah, all of that fun stuff within today's video. We've had a lovely morning so far. Sun is out. Went on a nice long dog walk this morning. But as for now, I'm going to make myself a tea, I think. Peppermint tea. I've been loving a peppermint tea recently. So, peppermint tea in hand. I wanted to bring you up here just because I've got all the things that I've been buying. I've got a couple of shops actually Dunelm and George at Asda. I know I did an Asda haul very recently. There was one item in particular that I wanted to get my hands on that I didn't see in store that led me to go onto the website. I ended up purchasing a couple more things. A way that I've found to pay less when putting in those online orders is by using Slash on all of my favorite retailers across fashion, homeware, uh, beauty, loads more, um, including brands such as M&S, Adidas, uh, Vestia Collective as well. Whether you're also renovating maybe and wanting to pay less for supplies from places like Homebase and B&Q or if you're looking to buy bigger furniture items like sofas from Dunelm or TVs and appliances from Curry's. There can be some real money to be saved here. So I'm talking about a browser extension called Slash. Slash is the first ever price reduction extension, meaning it automatically reduces the prices at your favorite stores. So you can pay less at checkout and what's more, it's completely free as well and no effort at all. It's honestly so easy. So all you do is click on my link, which I'll leave in the description box for you and complete your profile with email, password, your bank card you want to connect for making your online purchases. You install Slash onto your Chrome extension and Slash will automatically cut all prices on the selected retailers sites. It is really that simple. I knew that a lot of you would be interested in using Slash to reduce prices too. So happy shopping, link is below. And let's get into sharing with you the purchases that I made. I'll start with uh, George at Asda. I'll show you the item that I'm, the item in question. The one that I was on the hunt for last week didn't find, so found it online and it is Oh gosh, it really echoes. It's this gorgeous like urn vase. How nice is this? This is from George Asda. It has such a gorgeous texture and shape to it and everything. I love the little handles. It is so nice for styling purposes. Spring is fast approaching and spring is the season for adding little touches of tulips around the house and oh. Gypsophilia. I always say gypsophilia. Apparently it's gypsophila, not philia. Gypsophila. I did pick up a hand towel. I wanted this for our downstairs toilet. We are lacking one. When I say downstairs, I'm talking about in the basement. However, having said that, I think this colour would go nicely in when we eventually have a downstairs loo in the on the ground floor renovation. Then I think green would be quite nice because we've gone for green accents downstairs, like with the island, kitchen island and 
might get green sofa we'll see i'll leave links to these items as well for you i did also pick up stocked up on some of my faves so online they sell these in bulk so we all know how much i rave about the wax melts the sensical sen sensationals they're called this is the brand that you need to try and add so they have so many different scents but this one in particular cuddle up is tonka and oud oh it's so good stocked up on some of those some of my faves I did pick up a pair of tracksuit bottoms. I wanted to just get a plain light grey cuffed at the bottom like that. Just plain tracksuit bottoms to replace ones that I had from H&M that were just tatty. They'd shrunk in the tumble dryer, if I'm being completely honest. These are in a medium, so 12 to 14. I sized up in them and I'm glad I did actually. And the waistband is cinchable which is good, but £12.50 those were. Picked up one of these boxy tees. I quite like these that they do. And again, green, I'm loving green, aren't I? Um, £6 they are, so so affordable. They're just a really nice cut. I have also ordered a couple of other things and they will be included in a White Company dupes video, which I will have already filmed by the time you're watching this video. It probably will have been my last upload. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already and want to see some more purchases from asda i did however also use a slash on dunelm let me go grab those now i feel like with dunelm it's one of those places that sometimes if you go in stores you can almost have a look around and feel like there's absolutely no stock and there hasn't been new stock for years <laughs> do you know what i mean yet sometimes i go into dunelm and find so much well on this occasion online maybe that's the trick um i found quite a few things and new in things as well the first thing that i picked up and something that i've never seen before is this five piece set oh my god how gorgeous is this can you just visualize the future kitchen with all of these so this is a five piece kitchen storage set contains bread bin biscuit tin tea coffee and sugar canisters we're having a larger unit which i'm gonna build a kind of like coffee station within so i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of teas and coffees that we'll need house it now i've got these little canisters to put them in so this is what the bread one looks like nice and simple black font with a little line under it this is what the biscuits one looks like i'm not gonna lie it's a little small for a human biscuit tin so i might maybe pop some dog biscuits in here and have this near barney's dog station and then this one is the size of the smaller canisters this one's the sugar i'll just show you for comparison are they different yeah, they are slightly different in size. Can you see? So I'm going to pop this to one side ready for when our kitchen is complete and ready to be styled and organised. £24. They also do it in grey. Next up, I got this, which is an acacia wood. They had dark wood, but they also had a light wood if you prefer that. This is just a wooden mill rest. It was only £3.5. <laughs> £3.50. I just really liked the look of them and I thought again like Acacia Wood, Zara Home do quite a lot of that don't they? And I thought this would be nice set out on the worktop with our La Cruze salt and pepper mills like st stacked on it. I feel like if things are on something it doesn't look cluttered. And then I also picked up, these are adorable, like adorable. This little mug set which again could be styled like kind of within the coffee station just like so but yeah. £3.50 for the smaller one, the espresso one, and £4 for the, I'm guessing that's like a short coffee, maybe like a flat white size. I got this compost caddy. This one was the minky one, so it was a little bit more. I think they had their own version, and this one was about £8. I think their own version was about half of that but i went for the minky one just because it was white and it has this extra lidded section which allows you to put like a bin bag within it so because we're having our hob on the island we thought it'd be quite useful to have like a little food waste caddy to be able to just have on the side so that whilst you're cooking you know and all your like off cuts your potato peels whatever they all just go in there take out the bin bag nice and easy so yeah i picked that up sale finds now they've even got their sale stickers on but i got these canisters these glass canisters again for storage purposes i'm kind of like piling up and saving putting to one side all of my kind of storage jars and everything to be able to organize everything with but these ones were 14 pounds down to seven and the smaller one was 12 down to six but obviously you can use these like in a bathroom it doesn't have to just be um a utility or a pantry but obviously they're not airtight 
so you have to be careful what you put in them okay next up i got these now you know i'm a fan of the dunelm cleaning line it looks gorgeous so if ever you want cleaning products to look nice then Dunelm's your place to go. But they've started doing these cleaning sets as well. They had so many. I picked up three. They were £12 each, but you do get quite a few products within them. This first one is the called the Stain Remover Care Kit. So in this one, you've got a ring and mark remover, some cloths and like sponges and stuff. You've also got a velvet reviver and stain remover, an oil and grease stain remover, stubborn stain remover, and then an everyday stain remover and deodorizer. And that one's in the fresh linen fragrance. The rest of them are unscented. You can see the aesthetic of their cleaning products. The whole cleaning line is like that. Right, this next one is wooden furniture care kit. And obviously you can keep all of these kind of just in the boxes. Um, but yeah, there's another ring and mark remover in this one, a couple of sponges again, and then you've got a wooden furniture polish and a wooden furniture cleaner. Both of those are unfragranced. Oh, and then look, little stoppers as well. And then last but not least, I got the leather care kit. Again, like I said, they did have lots more. I just thought these ones would be the most useful for us. And you get quite a lot in here. So again, these uh, like felt stopper, uh, cloths and there's a sponge behind that as well but then in here you've got the leather cleaner the leather protector and then the geodorizer which is in the linen fresh linen scent let me just have a little sip of my tea this mug by the way is from primark mm -mm. yeah primark i did get it a while ago but their kitchen wear is really good as well okay anyway I got a bin. This is for a temporary situation down in the basement. We've just been using like carrier bags and it'd just be really handy, I think, just to have a small bin in there, small pedal bin. So I got that one for eight pound. They've got a whole new range, again, within their cleaning line of this sand and pebble, I think they call it, warm sand and pebble range. So it's all this kind of like deep beige color. They've got buckets, mops, spray mops, brushes, dustpans and brush, like all sorts. In fact, I did get a couple. So I got this dish sponge this bamboo dish sponge i've had this before from Donnell, and i did like it what i don't like and correct me if i'm wrong but is that they don't do refills of this top if they do let me know and let me know where i can find them because i will definitely keep and reuse and purchase repurchase this but for now um i did stock up on another one they're only two pounds each then i also picked up a dustpan and brush these ones were only £1.50 and I got this to keep down in the basement. I got a four pack of antibacterial microfiber cloths. I just find these really handy for because they're all different like textures and colors to do different rooms and things. I picked up this Method Daily Shower Non-Toxic Surface Cleaner in the scent Passion Fruit. I love the shower sprays that you get like this. Uh, I've never tried the method one. Really easy way to clean the shower. You just spritz this after you've used the shower and you just don't need to rinse it or do anything to it. So um, I get through these because I use them every time I use the shower. But I picked this one up for the dog shower, dog wash station thing that we've got in the basement. Cleans without having to rinse with plant-based power green technology. The fact that it's a non-toxic one, I just thought I'm method in general is meant to be a really good brand for like non-toxic cleaning products. So I thought I would get this one for Barney Station just because, you know, he goes in there every day and I'm not wanting too many toxic chemical, cleaning chemicals where he goes. Next up, I got this gorgeous, it's called a Malfi Serve Bowl in white. It was only £22. And can you see like the irregularity of it? I just think it's beautiful. I just thought that in the summer, I'm already manifesting like spring nights, summer nights, whereby... You're having barbecues and you need a big salad bowl that looks nice not just a plastic one which we already have but an actual nice one and what else could you use this for big salad but what else let me know i think this one was half price at two pounds it's in the scent chamomile and it's from the edited life range which you guys know i'm obsessed with i think the aesthetics of this range is just spot on so um yeah it's a little diffuser bottle but it comes with these as the reeds with a little little what's that called bunny tail and lavender is it lavender and then what else did i get oh i got a stock up of these which i've got in some of my drawers that i feel like need a refresh need a switch over 
They're four pound and they are just fragranced drawer liners in the scent linen. I stocked up on some face cloths. All my towels are white and they just get absolutely ruined with just, cause you never get all your makeup bits off with just Missler water. So by using that towel and then I'm like, ugh, makeup stains. I figured if I use these instead, I probably wear makeup four days a week on average, maybe five. Thought I would use these to be able to like properly remove all my makeup and kind of dry my face with my second cleanse. So yeah, one pound 20. And then these were also half price reduced. So I got a couple of these again from the Edited Life range. I've got a little, uh, what's it called? Like a little care hamper slash toiletry basket? I don't know, but in the spare bedroom on the bed, I've just got a few like random bits like spare toothbrushes and stuff. I did have spare toothbrushes, but they have since been needed and used. So I just got these as they were half price. They're only a pound each. And then same with these, a pound, but obviously half price, 50p, just a um, pack of bamboo cotton buds. And that is everything that I picked up. I'm just gonna finish my tea. Mm. So nice finish my tea and then I will share with you some house updates. Bring you up to speed. So up in my filming room, I have plans. Not quite in place just yet. Yes, Barney, give me some love. <laughs> to have these alcoves where there's currently a wardrobe over there, Pat's like here, one that just sticks out and I'm gonna have a full run, I think, of wardrobes along here. I'll just keep you posted on that because I am in talks with Hammonds on potentially having that. They might be doing some storage, helping us out with some storage for downstairs um, as well, which I'm heading now. Are you coming? Please come in. Yeah, storage potentially in here somewhere where we're having like a, I say dining room, we're not 100% sure how we're gonna have this room yet, but some kind of wall-to-wall -wall storage along here of uh, like a bookshelf, bookcase type thing that needs to be built. So that is also another potential. So, right, let me take you from the front door. I feel like it's, it'll flow better if you know where we're at with everything. Nothing much has changed here in terms of this entryway. We've obviously got everything boarded up. We do have builders coming back this week to finish um, that. They are gonna be building it all up, boarding it over, starting plastering. And then in here, we've just got the fireplace started to be installed. Now, we had a little bit of a hiccup with this because the guys that are installing it, we've sent them an image of what we wanted, like a limestone hearth chamber and surround so we've got the surround here there's no point putting that out yet this is the one we've gone for which we love it's just limestone it's called the bartello same with the hearth here this is the hearth is this limestone but love that our image that we sent with the limestone chamber was like full slabs of limestone there was no tiles that this is a different limestone as well because as you can see there's quite a lot of texture on them so we're not happy with this we are going to have to try and figure something out because this was all meant to be installed and finished yesterday and we don't like it <laughs> it's not what we wanted so they've left it there for now until we've hopefully find source something ourselves they're happy to fit it it's just that their suppliers don't do it whereby the limestone that is on here is just one big slab there, one slab there, one slab there. No texture, no divide, tile looking thing, just plain and simple. Because uh, obviously bear in mind as well in this room, we're planning on having all the walls black. So having all of this in limestone with a black log burner, which is this one, was like our vision and that's just, not working. So anyway, we've also had windows fitted. We've got another half of windows to be fit next weekend. So these had to be shaved down because they were measured a little bit off, like literally the tiniest of measurement differences can scupper your plans basically. So yeah, they did have to shave off um, a little bit on each of the corners. Once it's fitted, like to us, we can't tell. It's just for them as fitters, it's more difficult. So anyway, that's a whole other story. I feel like <laughs> doing a reno, I need to do a whole catch up video of like things they don't tell you about living in a reno. The unexpected costs, the incorrect measurements, the delays on stock, the, oh, it's just so much. The dust, 
Whenever I say that word now, I just think of Little Britain. You know when they say dust? Anybody? No. Oh, sorry Barney, did that make you jump? I just put my phone down on that box. Anyway. Let me flip you back around and show you some more updates. We have had all these boxes and those pipes over there, those circular things, they're all for the underfloor heating and they are to go in a week today. So again, soon I'll have quite a few updates. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted. That window's been put in, but we're gonna to have to pop another lintel at the top. So that needs to be redone when the builders that are coming back to do this, they can fit that. The builders are, once that door and window has been replaced, they're gonna build a divide in here to create the kind of cupboard to the dining room in there and the downstairs loo in here. And then this has all been plastered and mist coat in that section, but this bit is what it looks like without the mist coat. We've had these shelves built by the builders and then also we're gonna have um, like a cupboard along here with like a shelf that sticks out a little bit further. TV, we've had that kind of surround built so that it kind of fits within the wall for 65 inch, I think we're gonna go for to fit that space and then a sound bar underneath. And then some of the kitchen, again, this is another issue that we've had with DIY kitchens. So I've heard such amazing things about DIY kitchens and we do feel a little bit, ugh a bit of frustration with them. More so in terms of like the customer service. We did finally get through to someone that was helpful in terms of installing this corner unit. Our fitters, who are really good at what they do, we were having such issues with how to fit this corner unit. And we were thinking, surely, like people have corner units all the time. Why is it as difficult as it seems to be? Anyway, they worked out, they figured it out. There was a couple of things missing. So we've we got those in the post. But also there's been a couple of things like damaged, so we're waiting on the reorder, the redelivery for that. There was a unit that I ordered incorrectly, so that's on me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, for this section here, needs to be a 300 wide unit and they're not 400, which is what I ordered. Aside from that, we have had all of the handles. I am really impressed with these handles. These are also from DIY Kitchens. I thought, Get them all now from DIY Kitchens and if in future, you know, a year, two years down the line I decide to like up my handle game for the cupboards, all it is is a case of it's a screw isn't it? So it's fairly easy to replace. But I actually really like them. I was worried that they were going to be like a yellowy gold. They're not. They're a really distressed antique looking gold. So I'm so happy with these. This is going to be our larder unit. Again, this is something that we were struggling with. This is good touch up paint in invisible green which is the color that we've gone for for the island um but yeah this is our larder unit which we got the spice racks for and they are designed to go on the insides of the doors firstly both spice racks were damaged so we've got those coming secondly we were like how on earth is it going to close because obviously that goes there. So apparently you're meant to shave off 100 mil from the back of these shelves to be able to like push them back. But that takes up more than where these holes where you're meant to put these little bracket things. So I guess it's just gonna be down to our joiner having to move it back slightly, but also sort out the, like putting in another hole for these brackets. I don't know, it just all feels a little bit like Oh, we didn't know any of this, so we kind of had to like figure out a lot. I think if I'm being completely honest with you, the main issue, and it things would have been a lot easier if DIY Kitchens provided you with a plan. So like our joiner, our fitter, kitchen fitter, was expecting like a plan to work off. So obviously you get all these boxes, he needs to know what's going where and how the plan's looking. So we sent DIY Kitchens plans that we did with Howden's and they basically add everything to the basket that they can that would fit the plan that you've had done elsewhere, wherever it may be. But that plan is slightly different because DIY Kitchens, you know, we've gone for like an in-frame set which we didn't have on the Howden's plan so that, mean, that, that meant readjusting things. These units either side of the sink, that one there and that one there, they're 300 wide whereas Howden's plans on the plans they were 350 wide but DIY kitchens don't do them in a 350 so there was lots of things that like little tweaks that we had to make to get this kitchen which I love I love the kitchen I'm not gonna lie I really like it but it meant that our fitter didn't really have anything to go off other than plans that are slightly similar 
and we you know we asked them quite a few times is there any way of just getting what you've added to the basket just drawn up but they just don't do it they, they don't do it so anyway and things like this as well like we weren't sure what you're meant to put above the appliances like that little space there that little gap there obviously this little gap here is quite small but then you're going to be able to see the oak down the middle which is fine but what are we meant to do here here and here um so they have supplied some like end panels to fit there but we just yeah had we have had drawings and plans we'd be able to see exactly where everything goes so anyway, we've got an end panel to go on here. Here, we've got a end panel to go here, the door on that one as well, a 400 box that goes above here, and then another end panel at the end, if that makes sense. And to go in that gap will be a like an American fridge freezer. So that can't be built, neither can the end panels, the cornices, which are the things that go on top, and the plinths and everything and the island can't be fit until the flooring is in. So we're having to do a bit of micromanagement here. The fireplace needs to be fitted for the builders to finish boarding that room ready for plastering. The flooring can't go on until that's been done. The kitchen can't be finished fitting until the flooring's on. So it's all the case of like, there's lots of stages that could be being done but can't because you need to wait for the stage before it do you know what i mean <sighs> we're getting there though we are getting there we're moving we do have a week this week of no builders in which feels a bit quiet but quite nice for me so i can get on with filming and just sort of like organizing myself ahead of our holiday we're going to finland soon so yeah just i feel like there's a lot to do and I don't know I don't know there's just a lot to do but anyway this is where we're at I hope you're liking it so far and I hope you guys are as excited as I am to get organizing with this kitchen when it's in to like put everything in jars and label everything up and my organizing juices are flowing I'm so excited for that day guys look at that gorgeous sunlight coming in through the bedroom so nice in here even though I'm the sort of person that loves like loves autumn. Autumn and winter are just my seasons, autumn especially. If I'd rank them, I'd say autumn is up there. And then winter and spring are kind of like on a par. And summer's my least favorite. <laughs> Isn't that funny how some people like just obsessed with summer, bring me summer. But I do appreciate, even though I am an autumn and winter lover, how people struggle with sads. What's it? some for seasonal something depressive something i can't remember but basically their mood is really affected let me know if you're one of those people but when your mood is really affected by the like by winter and the you know the shorter days the dark nights dark mornings i do understand and appreciate that still even though i'm an autumn lover i think what i love about autumn winter is the coziness the cozy feels and summer, I mean, I'm just not the sort of person that does well in heat because I like to be cosy. Whereas in summer, I'm just like, ugh, too hot. Um, but I can appreciate how that affects a lot of people. And speaking of thoughts and feelings, I thought I would bring you upstairs to do my journaling of the day. I've had a really, a really good day today, actually. I have had a nice long morning walk in the sunshine and I think that makes a big difference. As much as I love like, appreciate having a dog because it does make you get out rain or shine and you still get that that fresh air which i feel like even if it is raining it's still beneficial for your mental health to get out um but especially on mornings like today it just to start your morning right i feel like going for that dog walk is probably one of my favorite times of the day honestly it's just so therapeutic for me and then also at the end of the day to reflect and to journal is also quite important for me i feel like writing your feelings down your thoughts and feelings is quite therapeutic and something that i would recommend you do if you don't already i've talked about these journals a million times so i don't need to show you them other than there you go <laughs> i'll leave them linked i think once this once this one is complete what i might do is just buy like a generic journal and 
writing it when I want because the only thing we're doing one line a day is it's every single day I have to do it same with this one actually three-year reflection journal so this one is only three years but essentially it's a question a day so what I might do is just get a generic kind of journal slash notebook that rather than every single day thinking oh you know putting the pressure on having to complete a daily entry have it more of a diary that you can kind of come to and from and like just as and when you're feeling certain feelings that you can maybe just jot them down as and when I'm having my therapy I can just like doodle and jot down the thoughts and feelings and not even have any like real purpose to it or like it to follow anything specific but just a space to just get everything out pen to paper I'll complete in the one line a day that I've had a productive day good day bit of filming lovely sunshine making me excited for spring and then in my three-year reflection journal the question is do you have any regrets and then my quote of the day from Vex King the 2023 calendar is do you know who will never leave your side you Perhaps this is the relationship you need to nurture the most. I think I'm gonna just have a bit of a reflective zen moment where I'm just gonna complete my journals. I'm gonna read a couple of chapters of maybe this book, The Anxiety Sisters. I haven't started this one yet. And um, yeah, just chill out in my nice sunny bedroom. I just have to in interrupt this. The first sentence, uh, let me get complicated. The first sentence within this book, the introduction, has already made me smile. And for anyone that can relate, I feel like this will make you smile too. Introduction, you've come to the right place. Sit down, grab a coffee, decaf if you're anxious. Hang out with us for a while. We know what you're feeling because we've felt it too. We've spent hours and hours looking through book titles, stuff on the internet, coming through magazines, hoping to find answers or clues. We too have spent a small fortune, okay, not that small, seeing doctors, therapists, nutritionists, just about any other wrists. And so I just feel like this is actually gonna be quite a light-hearted read, which is something that I feel like I need. Because when you talk about anxiety, it can become so consuming or any kind of mental illness or any, anything, mood swings, anything, depression, it can feel so heavy and then consume your mind. I, I some, I'm like this anyway in terms of like, if I become, I can be quite obsessive with stuff. So if, if I find a new series or something that I like, it honestly consumes my mind. Like, I can't stop thinking about it. And I'm thinking, we need to watch that next episode tonight. Or, I don't know, I saw something in the news and I can't stop thinking about it. And I, things like that affect me. So I feel like a light-hearted version of a deep topic is gonna be really good. I'm liking this already. Honestly, it's so funny. Put it this way. No paper cut went unwatched for signs of flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> I feel like health anxiety is a big thing as well. Social anxiety, but also health anxiety. And thinking, what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling this way? Maybe I'm ill. Maybe I'm going to Google these symptoms that I'm having. And maybe it is, you know, the worst thing that you can possibly imagine. Bit of sunlight we've got there on our face so that is going to go ahead and conclude today's vlog i hope you guys have enjoyed me bringing you up to speed with things with the house where we are at again just a reminder don't forget to check out slash i will leave a link direct to slash in the description box below where you can check it out you can start paying less on your online purchases from some of your favorite retailers so yeah link will be left 
in the description box and yeah I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day rest of your week rest of your weekend whenever you're watching this sending all my love to each and every one of you thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys